Hey guys, welcome back to Lex Biz. Today I'm gonna to share with you all of the tools that I use in my business to help just make my life easier. You know, when it comes to, you know, sending emails to customers, setting up lead pages and funnels, uh, you know, social media marketing, organizing posts, um, communicating with staff, organizing projects, all of these tools, because there's a lot of tools that I use. I don't need all of them, but you're gonna want them as your business grows. So I'm gonna share all that with you. I'm gonna hop behind the computer to do that. I can't just talk about it. I really do have to show you it. Um, and then all the links for everything I'm gonna talk about is gonna be in order in the description below. So feel free to click on that. All right, so I'm gonna start with this tool called Jungle Scout. So this is kind of essential for when you're um, picking a product on Amazon, you're right at the beginning stages of your FBA business and you're in product selection mode. So this I didn't have when I first started, but it definitely makes things a lot easier. Um, basically, you type in the keyword for the product that you're looking at. If it's balance board, I put that in and then I just have all these search results here. Then I hit on the Google Jungle Scout, Jungle Scout Chrome extension. You can't see it, but there's a little button there. And then in a few seconds, it pulls up all the results. So all of the different listings that are on Amazon and it's gonna summarize that for me. It's taking a little longer than usual here, but here it shows sponsored products. So these people are paying for ads, um, these people aren't. And so we can see their sales rank, their BSR, which we always have to take into account. The lower, the better. We can see the category. We can see how much revenue they're making every month. This is estimated, but it's pretty accurate. We can see how many reviews they have, the rating, and we can see what kind of sellers they are. There's a lot of information here. Um, let me refresh this because it doesn't seem to be collecting all these ones up here. All right, there we go. So it shows me that on average is about 520 monthly sales people are making. Uh, on average sales rank of 29,000, average price is $68. That's really high actually. That's crazy to be the average sale price. So there must be some really expensive ones that are bringing that up. There's a few that are around $100. So that's interesting because that's very not very common to see the average sales price so high. So here, this is the opportunity score. So it says high demand and high competition. So it lets you know kind of like if it's red, green, or yellow. This is just kind of medium because yes, there's demand, but there's also a lot of competition that goes along with the demand. As you can see here, competition is usually calculated with reviews. So it's just harder to compete with people who have so much social proof uh, with the reviews. So if they have a large number of reviews, it's more challenging. But as you can see here, this product, because there's high demand, even though they only have 38 reviews, they're still doing $18,000 a month. So I would look into this product. So that's basically Jungle Scout, the Chrome extension. There's also the Jungle Scout web app, which I'm going to show you. All right, so here we are in the Jungle Scout web app. Um, they have a few different things here. So they've got a product tracker, product database, niche hunter, and keyword scout. And the Chrome extension is what you already saw. So I'm going to start here at the product database. So if you're not doing your product research, particularly on Amazon, you want to kind of narrow it down before you head over to Amazon. This is a great way to do it. So I select my marketplace. So if I'm selling in the United States, I'm going to select what categories interest me most. So for example, maybe it might be health, maybe baby, beauty. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna try and narrow it down. I want standard, I don't want oversized products. I want it to be fulfilled by Amazon. I want my minimum price to be $19, my maximum price, I don't even care. Um, you know, there's a lot of information that you can put in here to specify. So, Let's see here, minimum weight, maximum weight. I don't want it to be over 1.5 pounds. We'll put two pounds. Um, you know, over here, reviews, maximum reviews. I don't want to see people with more than 500 reviews. So then we search. And so this is going to help me narrow down my product selection. So here it's going to pull up products that meet the criteria above. And I'm going to get some information about them. So I can see the Amazon FBA fees. I can see the net you know, profit margins, estimated, the weight, you know, what it's ranked, the stars, and we can see here. So, I mean, you can sort it by revenue or you can sort it by sales. You can choose how you want to sort it. Um, you can see that a lot of these people are doing really well. So this just helps with product selection. 
Then you've got the niche hunter here, which is kind of similar. It helps you figure out kind of the niche um, that you want to start selling in. So you guys can see. It shows the opportunity score, you know, is it good, is it not good? And Keyword Scout, this is going to help you when you're setting up your Amazon listing to help you select keywords and yada yada. So I don't want to go too much into detail about all these tools because I have so many to share with you. Okay, so the second product I'm going to share with you is called Helium 10. It's actually very similar to Jungle Scout, but it has more options and it is more expensive. So I'm just going to show you, you know, again, if I'm, you know, balance for same example. I'm going to click on my Chrome extension. I'm going to click on my X-ray, and this is how it looks. So it's, you can tell it looks pretty similar, right? But um, I, I find it just, just a little bit more accurate, and they give you more options um, in the web app. But it is more expensive. Here's a success store, uh, score. You know, all that information is here for you. You know, average price, all that stuff. Okay, so then I'm going to show you also the, uh, this is inside their um, online web tool. And so these are all these different products that you get access to. So black box, trendsetter, magnet, cerebro, there's just so many different things here. Um, everything you really need for your Amazon business. Um, so I'm going to give you an example with the uh, magnet for keyword research. This is a great tool for keyword research. So if I'm going to research balance board, I'm going to find all the top keywords here to help me uh, rank that on Amazon. So here I'm going to see the top three products that are selling the best. I can click on these products and I can find out what keywords they're using in their listing to help them rank more. And so here you can see you can uh, arrange it again. So for me, I like to arrange it by exact phrase search volume. And the reason for that is because then I can see how many searches per month it's getting. So the actual word balance board is getting 18,000. Alex, for some reason, is getting 13,000, but that's not really relevant. So I'm going to take that out. Um, you know, some things aren't going to be relevant. They're going to try and make it as best as possible, but you can see wobble board. That's something I probably wouldn't have thought of, but that gets 14,000 searches per month. So this is great, um, and it's definitely going to help you with that. There's so many different tools here. Um, Amazon product research, you know, reverse ASIN lookup. Um, let's, let's do an example with a reverse ASIN lookup. If we use this ASIN for this product here, it's got 426 five-star reviews, and it's $129. Good for you guys. So I'm going to steal this ASIN for a second, and I'm going to put it in here, product ASIN, and I'm going to do reverse search. And I'm going to see all the keywords that they are using. And the Cerebro IQ score is going to help you determine what keywords are going to give you the best bang for your buck, basically. So yeah, it's pretty interesting. So that's that, let's move on. Okay, so this next tool is called Feedback Genius. So this is essential when you have an Amazon business because you know you need to remain in constant contact with your customers and when they purchase from you, they want to know that you are available if they need to reach out to them and it just lets you give more information to your customers and it allows you also to ask for reviews uh, once they receive the products. So this is an automated email system. You enter in the email information that you want to send them, as I have done here, and then you enter in the marketplace you want to send it to, the ASIN, and when you want to send it. So for example, this is going to be immediately after the product is marked out for delivery. The other options are after the product is confirmed, after it's shipped, after it's been delivered, after positive feedback has been left. So sometimes seller uh, customers will leave feedback instead of reviews and if they leave positive feedback it's good to ask them if they could kindly leave this as a review so that everyone can see it because feedback is private and reviews are public um, and then if a customer returns something then you can also communicate with them so this is all automated for you you enter in all the information once and then it all does the work for you so this is definitely an essential pro um, tool for all Amazon sellers so here 
this is uh, my WP engine. Um, so this is website hosting. So I have a WordPress website, and when you have a website, you need a host. Um, so WP engine is kind of what I use, and it's pretty good. I'm probably going to transition to Shopify soon because um, I've just been having some issues with WordPress, but. WordPress, you can definitely do a lot more than you can on Shopify, M much more customization and all that. Viral Launch is something else I've used in the past during product launches. It's a great way for you to help ra uh, get rank ranking your product really fast. So basically what it does is it shoots products out to customers um, and it helps you uh, get those sales to help you rank better. So. Yeah, I guess they have some new features now that I wasn't aware of. I haven't used it in a while, but I definitely used it during my launch time. So Aweber is um, what I use for email marketing. I love it. Um, it's very easy to use. And basically what this means is that when someone's on my website and a pop-up shows up saying, you know, get 10% off your first order, enter in your name and your email here, then what happens to that? That information gets sent to my Aweber account and it gets sent to different lists. So depending on you know what website I have, if, it, if it's Amazon, if it's a pop-up here, if it's a pop-up there, I have different lists for everything. And so I'm able to now send emails out, automatic emails that I wrote, you know, uh, email series, or send broadcast out. Um, so it allows you to communicate with people and it's really important. Everyone knows that building your uh, email list is super important. It's really great to build relationships and to help you market other products that might benefit your customers. Um, so I'm not going to log in because it's, there's a lot of sensitive information there, but this is basically it. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, so lead pages is awesome. I use lead pages to build all of my pop-ups on my website. Um, I use it to build my sales page. I use it to build, like for example, this is my uh, amazing sign machine bonus page. I used it to build this. Um, and so it's very user friendly. It's really, really awesome. So here you can like edit things, you can add widgets, headlines, videos. It's just super user friendly for someone who doesn't know a lot of this stuff. Um, and that's how you build the pages. For example here, this is one of my sales pages for my um, waist trainers. This is um, made with lead pages. So I have the video here, I've got information about my products, it's all here, social proof. So it's all done with lead pages. So super easy to use, definitely recommend them. Okay, so sorry for the random order, I'm just kind of like thinking of things, but World First is something else that you'll probably want to use at some point if you're a seller, um, especially if you're selling in a different country other than your own. World First is kind of like an online bank account, um, so you can have your money from Amazon transferred directly into your World First account, and then you can have it transferred from your World First account to your bank account if you want to keep it in the same currency um, of the Amazon account. So for me, for example, I signed it up because I'm selling from Canada and I want to keep the US dollars that I receive on Amazon.com. I want to keep it in US dollars. So I sent it to World First and then from World First my account. And I'm not going to explain that because it's going to be a long video and I don't want it to be a long video. But basically that's what I use. Super important. Um, and you only pay a fee when you um, release the money from the world first account. It's like 2.5%. Okay, so here we have tax jar. Tax jar is super awesome for Amazon sellers who need to collect sales tax. Um, you can collect sales tax manually, but it's just like very tiresome and this kind of just simplifies it for you gives you a little bit of certainty to make sure you're doing the right thing um, so definitely recommend tax jar okay so here we have fiverr fiverr.com it's not really a tool but i highly recommend fiverr for if you're getting anything done um, you can get like logos done here you can get little you know if voiceover if you want someone to with an australian accent to you know, do a voiceover, you can get so many things done here and it's really, really affordable. So definitely recommend that. Okay, so here this thing is called Slack. So this is a way to instant message my team. Um, basically, it's kind of like MSN, if you guys are, you know, from that time where you would instant message people. It's kind of like WhatsApp, I guess, but it's organized it's for businesses. So you can have different channels here. 
I have different channels, Amazon customer support, defective, disputes, general influencer, da 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 da. Anything that we really need to discuss here, suggestions, website, YouTube, it's all there. I've got my whole team under here. And then you can also direct message people. So this is basically how I stay in contact with everyone throughout the day. It's really fast, really efficient, and really organized. Okay, so this here is called Evernote. Evernote is a place to take notes. Instead of just using a little notepad on your um, computer, you can use Evernote and you can sync it with your phone so you can have your notes with you wherever you go. I love it. I have a million and one notes here. Here I'm taking notes about, you know, the book Think and Grow Rich. Um, I've got notes about my diet. I've got notes about like so many things. So definitely recommend it. All right, so here this thing is called Asana. This is a place to basically start projects and have your team organized uh, so you know what you're doing and you're all on the same page. Here you can see there's different projects. It's all listed here, social media, you know, customer support, um, everything that we do with our business. It's all kind of just listed there. Uh, meetings. Um, so everyone's on board, you know, recording videos, what videos I'm recording right now, what videos need to be edited, Amazon sale, when is the sale, you know, who's going to advertise for it, what products are we going to add to Amazon, like all these different things. So everything is here and it's all organized and everyone's on the same page. We know what we're doing. And there's also a way to direct message people. Okay, so this is my Dropbox. Dropbox is where I store files. Um, here I have a team folder. So all of my team has access to this folder. We share photos, we share files. It's all stored on Dropbox. These ones are more personal. Um, yeah, basically that's it. Um, yeah, so Dropbox is kind of where I share files and store files. QuickBooks is what I use for my bookkeeping. Um, I actually just hired an accountant that's gonna do my QuickBooks for me because QuickBooks is good if you don't if you can if you want to do your bookkeeping yourself. But honestly, at this point, I just hate it so much. I have such a mental block around bookkeeping that it's not worth it for me to do it myself. So I'm having someone else outsource this, but this is what I've been using up until this point, and it's really, really awesome and helps keep you organized with everything. Okay, so this is where my customer support spends most of their time. This is called Fresh Desk. Fresh Desk is where they answer emails. So whenever someone emails us, it now gets submitted as a ticket. And then we answer tickets in order that they come in. And basically, you know, you can see here, there's a lot of tickets, 166 oversolved. Overdue 64, so there's time limits. You know, we set time limits for when each ticket should be resolved, and if they're not resolved, they become overdue, and then we have to look into this. You know, how many are due today, how many are open, on hold, and unassigned. So each person that works for customer support is supposed to receive a ticket, and it's supposed to be assigned to them. It shows here that there's 37 tickets unassigned right now. So um, definitely awesome. I kind of want to show you more features, but I don't want to expose too much personal information. But there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. You can also play arcade games. Like You can make it fun for your customer support team. So if they reach a certain milestone of having like 100% customer satisfaction, they get a bonus. Or if they get like 80% customer satisfaction, you know, because there's surveys after they send a ticket. They respond to someone, a survey questionnaire goes out, and then the customers can either say that they were satisfied, unsatisfied, or okay with, you know, how the customer support team responded to them. So it's really, really good to know that stuff because you want to make sure that your customers are happy no matter who it is that they are being responded by. I don't know if that sentence made sense. So this is called ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is going to help you build funnels to help you get sales. So uh, when you have a product on Amazon or on your own website, you're going to want to um, start building funnels. This is actually a really good book that is recommended to you. You can get it for free. You just pay for shipping. It's a really, really good uh, marketing book. So it really teaches you a lot. Um, but anyways, you can buy ClickFunnels and start building your funnels. So for social media, I have a VA. I've hired a VA that does this for me. Um, so I don't do it. I don't even know what the login information is, which I probably should know, but they use Hootsuite. So Hootsuite is going to organize social media posts. So if I'm not wanting to be, you know, spending two hours a day to make my posts, I can just organize them all in one day, spend five hours, and then I have posts done all for one week. 
So it's basically going to help you be more efficient on social media. You can also see what it will look like on your page. So um, it can look aesthetically pleasing and it can track things for you. So it's really, really smart. We use this. That's pretty much it. I think that's it guys. I think I've made this video long enough. Those are basically the top tools that I use in my business um, that help me kind of make everything a lot easier. Obviously I use Gmail for my personal email. I use Google Sheets for spreadsheets. Um, I, you know, you use YouTube, all those, you know, more simple basic things. But these are kind of the tools that I personally have picked for my business. So hopefully this helped you guys. I'll link everything down below and enjoy. Thank you.